Alright, welcome back to Dead Rising 2, Case West. Uh, this is the uh, person, I guess, that's in charge of the lab. Just She does that a lot. She makes little announcements. But yeah, saving, whatever. And here's um, Frank's outfit, which um, Chuck can wear as well. I like it too, uh, Chuck. I have to say, he pulls it off quite well, just to be completely honest. Very nice, because nice. I'm Chuck Green. is very nice. Alright, so um, I've made up my mind. In the last video I said, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to do one or two playthroughs of this game. You know, to do, um, uh, what do you call it? Survivor missions. And I am going to just do the survivor missions. You know, just straight up in this playthrough, because I don't want it to go on longer than it should. Also, I'm going to try and cut out loading screens if I'm not talking over them. Alright, so this game obviously is co-op built pretty much like Resident Evil 5. You know, obviously the best way to play this game is to have someone else be Frank. And, um, you're going to want to kill one of these guys be because, um, you're going to, there's a survivor mission that is based around um, you needing a cattle prod, so you're absolutely going to want to kill one of these guys. And yeah, Frank has his own skill moves, and Chuck has his own, so it's, they're pretty unique to each other, which is pretty awesome. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's actually like that as well in, um, what do you call it? Off the record, which is pretty cool. Also, here's a, uh, maintenance room. I'm going to see if there's anything to do here. Yeah, there's many maintenance rooms found through the Phenotrans facility. Each room allows you to build powerful weapons. The doors are bright red. Blah, blah, blah. That was a weird camera angle. And, um, obviously we already have combo cards. Because, uh, it goes off the assumption that you've beaten, you know, the other game. Got Drill Bucket. The Freezer Bomb. Hail Mary. Which I will probably be using in this video, or at least during the first survivor mission. Flamethrower, plate launcher, blazing aces, snowball cannon. The snowball cannon's a whole lot of fun. Ripper, laser sword. I'm, I'm going to be using the laser sword a lot during this uh, playthrough. Zap and shine's pretty cool. That's unique to this game. The lightning gun is, I believe, also pretty... Uh, New to this game. The Reaper is awesome. I'll be using that a lot. Im Impact Blaster is what I will be using just so much. Sterilizer is pretty cool. And the laser gun is also pretty freaking sweet. So, um, let's see. We got a grenade here. I might as well just make this because it's, like I said, I'm going to be using it during the first survivor mission. Also, these guys are really handy. I personally like how you could see Frank running around in the background. Cool. Just cool, huh? Alright, well let's actually do what we're supposed to be doing. In the last video we uh, established that Frank's source needs codes to be inputted throughout the Phenotrans facility. And that is what we're going to be doing. Hmm, is there anything good up here? Just a 2x4... Nothing really. Sorry, Frank. I know that was your kill. Also, there's going to be, you know, like, security guards all over the place here. And, uh, they can be kind of annoying. Which is kind of unfortunate. But, you know, if you just keep their guns, you can take them down quite easy. Quite easily, I guess I should have said. Let's see what's down here. Defibrillator, nah. Defibrillators are really fun to use. Like, I took a um, first aid course my first semester of college, and um, it was it was actually really fun. The days that we got to use a defibrillator. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be fun to actually have to use one. Nope, that's not at all what I wanted you to pick up, Chuck. 
I'm sure it wouldn't actually be fun to use one in the, you know, actual event of needing one. But, uh, whatever. Die. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna get some of these rations. Oh, am I lagging again? Alright, that's weird. Uh, this game tends to lag a lot. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um, and I also haven't actually done what I'm supposed to do in here yet, which is stupid. Hopefully you can read the, um, text boxes this time. I know it's, it was hard to do it in, um, you know, Dead Rising 1, because that game's set up horribly. Um, is there anything else in here that I want? I don't want that. Some dynamite would be good. Um, yeah, I'm going to just keep another electric prod just in case I drop this one for some strange reason. I don't think I should, but, you know. Now, um, the first survivor mission is actually going to activate as soon as we're done with this first case. So, yeah, that's, that's how far you're going to have to wait until, you know, we actually tackle one of them. Also, this thing is awesome. Wee! It's like a Segway, but you can kill zombies with it. It's awesome. Oh man, shenanigans. Yeah, that loading screen was pretty long. I'm definitely gonna have to cut that out. That's awful. Man, what what is up with the Dead Rising games and uh, awful, you know, loading screens? It's just weird. But yeah, this is a pretty cool room, because there's a bunch of zombies down there, and you can just set them all on fire. Pretty much like free kills, you know? But I don't know if, if you get, um, the, 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 like, what, what's the word? Um, anyway, um, this room introduces something that I hated from Dead Rising 2, which is the gas zombies. However, they're not that prevalent in this game, thank God. Because the gas zombies are pretty, pretty awful, in my opinion. Also, speaking of awful things, um, each Dead Rising game usually has that one moment where I'm like, I really hate this and I don't want to do this. You know, Dead Rising 1, it's the entirety of overtime mode. Dead Rising 2 was the gas zombies, and off the record was the awful um, mission with the, um, the harvesters. However, this game doesn't really have that moment, so it's got that going for it. But then again, the uh, security guards are pretty annoying. And they always throw those flash grenades, which, again, I don't really like. Also, you can jump up here and get some grenades. Is there a... yeah, there is, okay. Cool. I'm pretty sure I can actually make a weapon in here right now. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, absolutely. I will be dropping my those things because I don't need them anymore. So we got a katana, which on its own is an awesome weapon, but you combine it with a sickle, and it becomes amazing. Yeah. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome weapon. We're going to explore this area in probably a couple videos because we'll have some free time on our hands, so... Yeah. So here's the computer room. I think we have one more. Yeah. Oh no, that, that was the last of them. We're gonna head back to the shipping offices and contact Frank's... Frank's source. Wow. That's great grammar, if I do say so myself. Oh man, this thing is just so much fun to use. I think the combo weapons in this game are some of the best, if not the best. Like, I think Off the Record has some pretty great ones, but um, this game, I think, just blows it out of the water. Also, why is it telling me to go all kinds of weird ways? This is why I hate the guide arrow in these games. Gas control. If people had gas control, the world would be a much better place. Also, I hope there's more zombies down there. 
just come on dude oh Frank came out of nowhere and I thought he was an enemy pretty crazy yeah these loading screens are definitely gonna get the axe because they're pretty obnoxious and uh, yeah no one likes looking at loading screens so I'm doing everybody a favor so yeah, we're just heading back to the security office to get uh, Frank's source, or to contact the source. Where are we going? The arrow keeps pointing me different directions. Hmm. But yeah, I really like this facility. Honestly, I think it's one of the better areas in the Dead Rising game. So what's this evidence, Frank, huh? What's it show and when do we get it? It must show what's going on in this place. But he needs time to download it. Let's get the hell out of here and meet up with him later. I still need proof that I was set up in Fortune City. You might have your big story now, Frank, but I'm a dead man if we don't find some evidence that clears my name. Oh, there's that awesome uh, remix of his theme again. Try to figure something out. Try, huh? Yeah, that's great. I'll figure it out myself then. I want to take them down just as much as you do. You must believe me. Hmm, I wonder who Frank's source could be. Uh, 4 o'clock p.m. We have so much time. We have time for days, which is why we're going to be tackling a lot of, well, not a lot of, just the survivor missions that we actually can take care of right now. So, some source, Frank. So yeah, let's uh, end the video here, and in the next one, we will do some survivor missions, so see you then.